create rich PDF output from RoboHelp. RoboHelp makes it easy to create well-formatted PDF from your topic-based RoboHelp content, complete with internal and external links and including rich media. I'm using the employee care sample file available in the RoboHelp install directory. If you'd like to follow along, consider copying this project directory to another location on your drive, like your documents folder, to allow you to save changes to the files. To get started, look at the single source layouts pod. If you can't see the outputs or the SSL pod, go to pods, output SSL. New projects will have by default a printed documentation layout with a printer icon that looks like this. You can see that this project already has three printed documentation layouts specified. If you don't have a printed documentation layout, come here and choose Create Output to create one for yourself. I'll edit the options for printed documentation for authors. Inside the option, we'll of course have to have Generate PDF at the top. The PDF Settings button gives you access to saved settings files, as well as access to setting custom options via the Advanced Settings button. Lower on the page is the conditional build expression. In this example, I have three different PDFs I can create, so each single source layout will use a different conditional build expression to display the appropriate content. If you don't already have the conditional build expression that you need, click Define. Here you can choose to exclude specific tags to come up with the conditional build expression that matches your content. Near the bottom in Settings, I've chosen to create a single file rather than individual PDFs of my content and also chosen to retain hyperlinks. In the second sheet of settings, I can organize my topics into chapters in the PDF. Items in blue have already been added to the structure. By nesting topics into chapters and sections, I can affect the formatting of related pieces of content in the final file. Since this file is already organized, I'll move on to the third sheet. This section lets you set up common book components. A number of the components are already here, but if I wanted to add additional components, or wanted to change the base cover page, I can do that by using the Add Section button. I can also edit the style of my current cover page using the Edit button. Moving on to the next screen, here's the area where I can control the formatting of my PDF content. RoboHelp works with HTML files, which are formatted using CSS. If you're comfortable writing CSS, then you can choose to define your print formatting with CSS. However, using RoboHelp's integration with Microsoft Word, you may instead want to modify the MS Word template or DOT file to define formatting as you would in any other MS Word file. I'll click on Save and Generate to process the file. I'll skip forward to show you the processed PDF file. While I can easily navigate to the SSL folder in my RoboHelp project directory, I'll click View Result to open up the PDF file from here instead. And here's my PDF file, 105 pages of content specifically related to being an author with RoboHelp 2015.